Hello everyone and welcome to EduSearch Clinics. I am Dr. Gunjan Desai and today we are going to discuss on a recent trial that came up with regards to colorectal liver metastasis management and that is the collision trial which discusses surgery versus ablation for small size colorectal liver metastasis. It is an international multicenter phase 3 randomized control trial, a very good level of evidence. So when we discuss these kind of trials, the definitions and the inclusion criteria are very important. So when you read a trial paper, the first point that you have to see is the type of study. So it's a phase 3 international multicenter randomized control trial. What is the hypothesis? The hypothesis is non-inferiority of ablation when compared to surgical resection. For what patients? For patients with small size colorectal liver metastasis. What is this small size? Is less than or equal to 3 cm. So more than 3 cm, no ablation. That is one point that you can remember. So for all patients with resectable colorectal liver metastasis, but no extrahepatic disease. So if the patient has lung with liver, that was not a part of this study. Okay. Total number of metastasis in liver less than or equal to 10. One or more resectable and ablatable less than or equal to 3 cm. Right. Additional rejections more than 3 cm were allowed. Additional ablation for unresectable CRLM was allowed. So, what they have done, they have selected the ablation approach as per the local expertise. So, it can be percutaneous ablation, laparoscopic ablation or open ablation. If there is a limited disease burden, what is meant by limited disease burden in this chart? That is maximum three CRLMs which are for ablation. So, in these cases, they have considered percutaneous or laparoscopic approaches. If there is intermediate or high disease burden, then the randomization was done after intraoperative ultrasound in the OR. Okay. So, for limited burden, that is for ablation required for maximum three lesions, percutaneous or laparoscopic approach was used. So, when we discuss results, they randomized 296 patients, 148 in the rejection arm, 148 in the ablation arm. No rejection plane recurrence in 122 patients, whereas recurrence in the rejection arm was seen in 21 patients. And in the, these patients, the rejection in one case, ablation in six cases, and none of them in 15 cases. Okay. On the other side, in the ablation arm, there were no recurrences in 127 patients, and there were 18 recurrences in the ablation site, which could be rejected or ablated in 16 out of them. Now, based on this basic study between the experimental arm and the standard of care, that is the rejection, the collision recruitment and the trial was stopped half time because of the benefit of ablation over rejection. What did this study show? And this is where there has been a bit of debate in between the rejection and ablation that for small size colorectal liver metastasis, the collision trial concluded that thermal ablation is definitely non-inferior. So it is as good as surgical rejection, which was the aim, right? And it did not compromise overall survival. Remember that this is for non-inferiority, okay? And that has been established for ablation versus rejection. When we see data of this study, however, the treatment-related mortality is 2.1% for rejection, which is okay compared to 0% for ablation. And all-cause 90-day mortality is again 2.1% versus 0.7%. But when it comes to adverse events, it is 56% for rejection. Now, this is something that is not expected of high-volume centers. And this is where a lot of debate and questions have been raised that 56% adverse event rate in rejection means that out of the 148 patients, nearly 74 patients had adverse events. That is very high for a high volume center. The usual adverse event rate is around 15 to 20% for rejection, right? Ablation is 20%, which is acceptable, and 7% ablation, serious adverse event rate, which is also acceptable. 
if we see the overall study, ablation was at least as good as surgical resection, right? But it did not show difference in local and distant tumor progression-free survival and did not compromise overall survival. So this is what the collision trial is. Surgery versus ablation, it is an RCT, non-inferiority as the aim. Small size is less than 3 cm. Up to 3 lesions easily percutaneous or laparoscopy was selected. More than 3 based on intraoperative ultrasound finding as well as technical expertise and availability, the approach was selected. So that is what basically the collision trial is. What we can infer from this and can it change our practice? We have already been using ablation for CLLMs which are not easily resectable or which are close to the vessel. You can use microwave ablation. Can we do only ablation and not resection? Time will tell. However, in today's world also, the resection should not have an adverse event rate which is this high. So that is something that can be taken into practice. And definitely ablation can be incorporated into practice for lesions that are not clearly resectable or difficult to reject or in location where ablation will be more parenchyma sparing compared to rejection. Thank you.